Hello, hello, and good afternoon. It is Wednesday, May 15th. It is currently just about two o'clock. Yeah, 2.12 to be exact. And I have the kiddos that I watch over at the moment. I'm about to make them some of these goodles, goodles, noodles, but gooder is what it says. Um, but it's got 14 grams of protein, some grams of fiber, nutrients from plants. I don't know if you can see that. So we bought a big box of this at Costco and um, my kids really like it. So I figured I would make some of that for them because Henry will be coming home from school before too terribly long and they're all usually hungry around the same time. So making that for them currently, um, I figured I would jump on and start a weekly vlog because it's been a really, really long time since I've done that. And I can kind of catch up with you guys this week and you know, whatever. I also got a couple of things on the docket. Tomorrow is Rob's birthday. And then this weekend we have a couple of plans and things that we're doing. So I figured it'd be a good week to jump on, start a weekly vlog. We can get personal, <laughs> all the things. Anyways, I'll bring you guys along as the week unfolds. But currently it's as exciting as making macaroni and cheese. Okay, so while I've got you here and I'm waiting for my noodles to cook, I figured I would show you guys this. So, little quick backstory. A couple weeks back, I saw my husband and I both get emails of what's coming in our mail, and I saw that we are getting a package from Dis uh, like Disney's Vacation Club, which to just say we are not members at all. Um, I've joined, like I've looked into it slightly. We've done all the like sweepstakes events if you get emails from disney then you probably know what i'm talking about so anyways <clears throat> with that i was like wow that's really weird i don't know why we'd be getting a package from them so uh i tried doing some research and i found nothing about this well so right before it came i realized that i had gotten a message while we were on our vacation which if you don't know we were in disney world about a month and a half ago probably somewhere around there and so while we were on vacation, I got a message saying, stop by a Disney Vacation Club desk and we have a free gift for you, blah, blah, blah. So I've already opened it. This was on my, my refrigerator. My son had drawn all over it, so I cleaned it all off so I could show you guys. But this is the box that I received. Um, so I figured I would show you what's inside. So first thing was this cute little drawstring bag, which I've left it all inside because I don't know, because I'm weird and I just have. So it's this drawstring bag and it says stay magical year after year at Disney's Vacation Club. It's got a cute little Mickey on here. And then I saw this in the package and this was sitting straight on top. So it just says, dear Wallace family, thanks for your interest. And you know, here is a token of my appreciation, blah, blah, blah. So, Something else that came in, it was a luggage tag. It says Disney or bust. And, Dis and Mickey's just chilling out. Then you know, all the luggage information. And then a little pad of stickers, which I just always love getting stickers because we like to use them for our mouse keeping envelopes. I don't like to like buy anything fancy. I just get a blank envelope, stick sticker on there and put mouse keeping so they know it's for them. So I thought that that was kind of fun and I wanted to share because like I said, I tried looking it up and seeing what packages everybody was getting. Oh, yes. There's my oh. little one. She calls Mickey either, I don't, I can't remember what she calls Mickey, but she calls him Douche instead of Mouse. So anyway, I wanted to share that because I haven't seen anything online about it and I thought it would be kind of interesting to share because I heard other people saying that they were also getting something like that. So anyway and it usually just lives here on my refrigerator with all of our other fun things <laughs> don't mind how messy it is num 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 oh my goodness you're such a mess girlfriend so i was gonna hop on and say that the goodles are a smash hit look at her face you like that is it good num num ah. she's a squirrel um, but the other two kiddos were like, oh my gosh, that's so good. I want more. And the whole pot, I made two boxes, y'all. That's what's left. And I'm saving it for Henry because we have to go and get him from the bus in probably about 15 minutes. 
So smash hit, kids approved, all the things. I even tried it and I think it's delicious and I loved macaroni and cheese. I've kind of grown out of that a little bit, but this stuff is so good and you get extra protein. So there you go. Hello and good morning. I just started my work day. The kids just got here. So I have them kind of playing and hanging out in there. It's raining, otherwise we would be outside. So with that, they're content. I am gonna go through this giant basket because <laughs> it's kind of become a catch-all when originally it was supposed to be for like bills and you know, paperwork and things like that. So I'm trying to get this cleaned up. Briar's been in this back corner destroying everything under the sun. We've got laundry that needs to be folded and put away. And then my little island type situation here is like just a chaotic mess. Um, I'm always looking at YouTubers and I'm like, man, like they always have their counters all nice and cleaned off. Like not me, there's always cups over here and dishes in the sink and there's like just stuff everywhere. So today is my husband's birthday. So his mom came and dropped off these Aussie Bites from Costco. Okay, much better looking now. There's cords that are all discombobulated, but it's mainly just this one long one. So that is that. I actually need to use it right now, frankly. And then I've got a big pile of like, we get the Missouri Conservation Kids, I don't know, what are they called? Kids um, Magazines for Henry. And um, we have like a pile of them apparently in there and I didn't know it. So there's that, it's all bent up because I guess it was bent in there. And then I get the Better Homes and Gardens. My grandma actually buys these for me every year and it's just like a subscription but like, oh my gosh, like tell me how gorgeous this is. I love that. So anyways, I just have a pile of those here. And then, oh, he also gets highlights, so. And then this is the Missouri Conservationist adults version. There's the kids version here, which is called Explore, and then the adults version. So I have all of that. See, here's another one that's not even been opened yet. So I have all of those that I need to put away. We actually keep them like funny enough. We keep them in the bathroom because my husband and I like to read these while we're giving the kids a bath, like, or while they're playing in the bathtub or whatever. So I have a basket up in our upstairs bathroom that I keep all this kind of stuff in. So I need to put all those away. I think this was put up because it needed batteries or something, which, or it's because it's really obnoxious. So... <laughs> Oh, also I wanted to mention the woman, my friend, that I babysit her kids for. She always packs me like a drink here and there. And this time it's this and it's a prebiotic drink. And it's so good. Very, very good. This is the berry cherry. Delicious. It tastes just like, um, like a cherry Kool-Aid. So good. So basically there's a powder that comes in the lid. And then you take, so there's like a sticker. Take the sticker off and you push the lid down in the powder dissolves into the bottle and then you shake it and it looks like this so it looks just like water whenever you first open it and then like i said you pop the powder into the drink and then shake it and then you're ready to drink it and it's really good really good okay so it's a little bit later now i just got the kids set up with some lunch so while i have a quick moment um, I wanted to share about this right here, which I have it in the wax melt. But if you watched any of our Disney vlogs, I shared about this candle and how I made it at the Grand Floridian. And um, basically, you can pay like $20 to create your own candle. They have a bunch of different scents that are marketed towards like all kinds of different Disney things. So what I have is, isn't it Grand, which is the Grand Floridian's um, trademarked scent. And the girl told me when I was making this to fill it up past the wick so that I can put it into a wax melt and still have a full-sized candle. So that's what I've done. So I put some more on top because when I started it, it so it's, I've already put some in there and it's melted. It's hardened again. 
and then I put some more on top because I, it could use some more. But I wanted to say that if you aren't able to get to the Grand and make yourself a candle like this, the girl also had said that if you, um, if you want something that smells just like it, to order the Floridian scent by Magic Candle Company, which I have not ordered that scent yet by them. I do have a couple of essential oils by them, or I guess they're just like fragrance oils that I will say smells exactly like what they're supposed to. Um, I have like the Polynesian scent and I have a couple of other ones. I can show those to you guys in just a minute. But I was gonna say, I have a 15% off coupon code linked below for you. So if you're interested in having a scent that apparently smells just like this candle, you can get the, you can get actually a variety of different things in that scent. And apparently it smells just like it. And that's coming from somebody who works at White Basin, um, not just me. <laughs> so I just wanted to pop on there and say that really quick. Um, and then I will show you guys the ones that, the oils that I already have by Magic Candle Company in just a minute. Okay, hello. It's the first time I've <laughs> shown my face today. It's Tuesday. Hello. I actually just got myself pulled together, so I didn't show myself earlier intentionally because I was a mess. Um, so I actually, I've started getting my eyelashes tinted. It's called an eyelash tint. Um, so I have naturally, this sounds really gloaty, but I'm not trying to gloat. I have really long eyelashes. So instead of getting like lash extensions or whatever they're called now, um, I just got mine tinted because I have blonde hair and so they're kind of hard to see. So with getting them tinted, I'm able to just curl my eyelashes and like they're a little more visible. So I've been trying to do that and then just do like a little bit of face makeup, which I'm having like a little bit of a breakout. But all that to say, that's the idea. That's what I'm going with for my summer look. Anywho, like I said, the kids are awake. We're about to have to go and get Henry in about 45 minutes or so. Um, so everybody's getting snacks and Briar's been running amok. You can see my floor. There's like papers everywhere, balls. There's like a basketball pump here, a rubber duck over there. Ooh, doing that backwards is not easy. So all that to say, it's Rob's birthday today. Um, his only request for today is that he wanted to go to the gym and lift. So I said, go ahead. Um, but I wanted to get myself a little bit pulled together so that if we do decide to go out for dinner or something like that, where I'm at least that's put together, I need to still change. But anyways, that's that. I wanted to officially check, check in for today since I haven't shown my face at all yet. Um, and so yeah, 2.30. This is what we're up to. I will check in in a little bit because I'm sure we're gonna be up to something <laughs> by the end of the evening. Hello and good morning. It is now Saturday. So I spent the morning out doing some garage sailing because our subdivision is having a subdivision sale. So my friend and I went out and did some of that and we made actually quite the killing actually, I feel like, because we got some really, really good stuff. With all that to say, yesterday I had a very, very, very intense migraine, like so intense, um, put me completely out. I had to tell the kids that they couldn't come by today. I had to keep Henry home from school because I couldn't even make it out of bed enough to get him ready for school and take him to the bus stop. Like so bad, debilitating. Rob had to come home from work early, the whole thing. It was a really bad, bad, bad day. Feeling much better today though. And so, like I said, I went out garage sailing with my friend. We brought our two oldest kids with us so they could come with us in garage sale. And we had a ball. Got a lot of really great stuff. Um, and so now we're kind of home. I think we're going to figure out something for lunch. And then I think we're planning on going to a place called Party Playtime, um, which is kind of like um, like a Kokomo Joe's, if you're familiar with that, or um like a dogwood social if you're familiar with anything like that it's kind of like an adult arcade type situation um but it's also good for kids they've got like blow-ups for them to play on and all that food and drinks and whatever so we don't plan on having any drinks but we do plan on going and just hanging out as adults and letting our kids play and things like that so i think that's on the agenda for today uh, but i will bring you guys along obviously as much as i can 
But one thing I wanted to share is at one of our garage sales, I found this for Briar and I just think it's so cute. And it was only a dollar. And I know that this thing was probably like a good $15 at the store. So, so cute. So anyway, um, that is kind of what I'm up to. I'm going to probably, I got this out of garage sale also, so I can make like a mommy kit for my diaper bag because I have currently nothing in our diaper bag for me. I feel like it would be a good backup to have. So that is currently what we're up to. Welcome to our Saturday. Hello, hello. <laughs> it is currently Tuesday. So clearly I'm out of the swing of things. I think the last time I checked in was... I think it was Saturday. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, I think that's right. I think I had just finished doing some um, garage sailing. And I was going to tidy up and do a few things like that. So, um, to kind of catch you up, we on Saturday, we had some plans with um, a friend of mine and her family. And they ended up having to reschedule because their kids just weren't really having it. Having it and so, you know, whatever. So Saturday night, um, I think we just kind of, my husband and I and the kids, we just kind of shopped around and just did whatever around town. Um, and then Sunday, we actually got some paint. So if you can tell that this wall is a different color than this wall, um, we're actually painting the living room a white color. So this is, a, it, the color is called White Palace. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know how to say it. It's white P-A-L-A-I-S by Bear. It's supposed to be comparable to the, the white dove color by, um, Benjamin Moore. So it's like a warm white, uh, because now I don't know if I've, it's been a long time since I've like shared at all. So I'm really sorry. I've done a really horrible job with this weekly vlog because I was wanting to kind of catch up on what's been going on. But we got new couches. I don't know if you're able to see that very well. Um, actually, I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, we got some new, nice, long, wide couches. And um, there's two of them. So there's a, like, actual couch and then, like, a sofa and then a love seat, however you want to say it. They're really, really nice. We're loving them, loving them. But with that, um, for one, we didn't even want our living room to be blue. <laughs> it was kind of just like a mishap. Um, but also now that we have these nice warm colored couches, they really, the walls really needed to be painted. So, um, we did a little bit of painting on Sunday and then Sunday night we went over to my grandparents' house to have dinner with them and catch up and hang out in the yard. And it was really, it was a really, it was a nice night. Um, Monday, which was yesterday, we, what did we do? I had to work. So did my husband. We really didn't do much. It was just a normal, typical work day for us. Currently, I just laid Briar down. Henry went off to school. He's on his, he has three and a half days left of school, including today. So he has today, tomorrow, and then Thursday, and then Friday is a half day. So very exciting stuff. I can't believe he's going to be a, fifth, a first grader by the end of this year. I can't really talk. Um, I'm currently sitting here because I just placed a Magic Candle Company order. Um, because I thought it would be fun. I talked about earlier my little um, white basin candle. Sorry if I'm holding the camera poorly right now. Let me adjust slightly. I The lighting's horrible. I'm sitting in my living room in front of a window. Um, but I was talking about my white basin candle that's supposed to smell like the Grand Floridian. And I was talking about how Magic Candle Company has an oil or like a, a fragrance it's called the Floridians fragrance and it's supposed to smell like the Grand Floridian so as an experiment I went ahead and placed an order by Magic Candle Company um so one of the things that I got is that scent so I figured I might end up doing a separate video just like reviewing all these scents and smelling them for the first time and doing a comparison like things like that um eventually. I think I might end up doing that because I think that would be really fun. Like I said, I have, um, I have like four, I think I have a, a total of eight different scents by Magic Candle Company of the fragrance oils. My favorite that I had found is the Banshee Flight fragrance oil because it smells completely like it's supposed to, like the actual, um, like what is that, um, ride called? Flight of Passage. 
Smells just like it. Smells very, very good. So, but it's been a couple of years since I've actually placed an order with them. And um, a couple of the oils that I really liked are out. So I figured I would place an order and get a couple of new fragrances. And then maybe we can just like do a whole video over it. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment, let me know. Um, but I figured that would be kind of fun. So I just placed that order, which if you want to place an order with them, I have a 15% off discount code. Um, it's linked below, but it's also capital April W. You'll get 15% off of your order if you're interested in that. But really excited. I my A couple of my favorite, like I said, is Banshee Flight. I also really like their Polynesian scent because it smells very much like the Polynesian. I was just there in March slash like early April. Smelt just like it. Um, there's a couple of scents that I actually have in oils that they do not have anymore, which I thought was really interesting. So that's that. So I can actually show you some of those in just a few minutes here. Um, I want to finish placing this order adding the last few things to it. And then um, I need to do a few things around the house, but then I can jump back on and I can show you guys my oils. So I do apologize for the cutoff between Saturday and now Tuesday. Um, but like I said, I'm really out of the swing of doing a like weekly vlog. So um, I'll get back to it. It's just gonna take me a little bit. So please be gracious with me. Usually I've, for the past few years now, I've done like mostly like sit down topic videos. So it's been a while since I've done an actual weekly vlog. So hopefully it's not too boring. If you're still here with me, thank you. Thank you. Um, and so yeah, we'll see how the day goes. Okay. My kiddos headed out early today. So I figured I would take a second to show you some of my oils before I got, I get Briar up out of bed. So I'm going to try to be quick about it. This is Bakery, which I think they've renamed this as Main Street Bakery or Bakery on Main Street, something like that. Smells really, really good. Heavy and like kind of a vanilla, but like bakery vanilla smell, if you know what I'm saying. Very good. This is Walter's Office. So good. It has like a tobacco-y smell with um, like a vanilla-y smell. Very good too. This one, they don't sell anymore. It's called Honey Pot. Frankly, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be based off of. I think it's supposed to be like um, the Winnie the Pooh ride is what I would assume. Um, but like I said, they don't sell it anymore and I don't, I don't really like it. It doesn't smell like the ride or anything like that. This is dirty. Sorry, it's falling down here. This is Philharmonic Champagne, which I was looking at the website and I don't see that they have this one anymore, but they have Philharmonic Pie now. So I would assume it probably smells different, um, but it it smells good. Um, not my favorite though, I won't lie. This is Banshee Flight, which is my favorite and it's empty, but I've held onto the bottle so I can remember to buy more. <laughs> And I have Caribbean Resort, which um, is, that's actually the resort that my husband and I stayed at on our honeymoon. So I had to make sure to get this one and it smells very good. And it does smell like the resort itself. Haunted, which as I'm sure you can assume is supposed to be like the Haunted Mansion. Smells very good. It's my favorite. Definitely very much spooky vibes, like Halloween-y, that kind of a thing. I really like it. As far as it smelling like the ride, I'm not really sure. Uh, the last time that I was on Haunted Mansion was in 2019, so I'm not really sure, but I do like the way it smells. So It definitely has like a musky, um, it definitely has its own smell to it. It's good though. And then Polynesian, which I had already said, definitely smells like the Polynesian Resort. Smells really good, very green. Definitely smells green to me. So those are the ones that I have already. I haven't bought any since probably 2019, 2020 maybe. Um, so some of these fragrances have probably been renamed, like I said, or whatever. And, um, I actually got these on a deal. So they have a like buy four for a certain price. 
um, which is actually a pretty good deal. So I recommend that if you're planning on getting a lot of the fragrance oils, but I really like them really like them they're very true to what they say they are and actually like the cast members at Disney as I had mentioned recommend this company for their fragrances so keep that in mind hello hello it is now Wednesday so I'm currently in the kids room um I don't know if I talked I don't I really I wanted to film this so that I could catch up on everything but so much has happened that I'm not even sure what I had included previously and what I haven't so quickly, I will tell you, we switched mine and Rob's, my husband and ours room from the bigger bedroom, like the master bedroom of our house to the secondary bedroom, which they're both so large. They're like comparable in size. Um, I think there's just like the, the closet's a little bit bigger in the master and like there might be just like a little bit of extra room in the master. Either which way, um, we switched myself and my husband out of our master bedroom and into our son's bedroom and then moved our son into the master with our daughter. So now they both share a bedroom and my husband and I have our bedroom to ourselves again. And um, like I said, they're both very comparable in size, but it, to us it made a little bit more sense to give the kids a little bit more room because they had way more stuff than we do. So, um, I'm currently in their room because the kids that I watch are downstairs taking a nap and Briar took her morning nap. So they're kind of alternating between nap times. So they're asleep, she's up. She just had lunch, we're up in her room to play. And it's been a little bit since I've been in here to clean. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Please don't judge because like I said, it's been a little bit since I've been in here. I need to straighten it up a little bit which she's probably just going to come behind me and undo everything that I'm doing but um you know I'm going to do my best and also our son's dresser is like falling apart so we have to get him a new dresser frankly there's a lot of stuff that I want to do around our house it's just a matter of doing it isn't that always the case so I'll show you what's going on in here and then I'll kind of talk you through my thoughts Okay, I have you guys on the 0.5 lens, so hopefully it doesn't look completely bizarre. She's already going through the drawers. She found your brother's swim shorts. <laughs> so I'm I'm actually like, okay, so this is me standing against the back, or like the bedroom door. So there's the closet, and then it's like, it's a large bedroom. He has a full bed. She obviously has a crib. That is a full, like, it's like a recliner rocker. It's really nice. I put, I got a cover for it whenever we were whenever we had her because the original material like pilled up really bad and it's all stained and you know whatever. So anyway, all that to say, this used to be in our living room and I used to have just like whatever toys that are right here frankly. No, no. No, thank you. Um I used to have all that downstairs. But with having so many kids in the house, they just basically would go over to it, dump all the buckets out, and then would walk away. Um, just because they were either looking for like one specific toy or, you know, whatever. It was just way too much. So now there is like a door downstairs that I just keep some toys in. And so I moved this upstairs and um, it's in disarray again. <laughs> and then this chair I think I want to get rid of because Henry doesn't really ever use it. And it just kind of sits there holding like throw pillows and things. And then, like I said, this dresser, so that the top, this dresser is really old. We got it as like a hand-me-down, but it was, they painted it and all this stuff whenever, before my son was born. So over six years ago, that was gifted to us for him. And we've had it all this time, but he's really rough on it. Like I said, it's old. So like it's, you have to be kind of gentle with it and he's not. So he ripped the front of it off, I guess. It's just falling apart. So we need to get that under control. Really what I would like to do is get him the same thing that I have for Briar, which is these little cubes, which I'll show you in here, but please don't judge me because I have no idea what it looks like in here. Okay, so it's not terrible. So I have like this all for her like linen stuff and we've got a whole Lego table in here that she likes to get into. Um, but I have like some clothes in here, clothes in here, 
her wipes and diapers and stuff goes like over there, which it's all again in disarray right now. Blankets are stacked up top. It's like, uh, like it has literally no organization going on up here. But basically, that's the idea. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this chair, I think, and I want to move the Lego table back out. Um, the only thing with the Lego that is a shoe, very good. The only issue with the Lego table is that she likes to get into it and she is still too little to not put things in her mouth. So that's why we moved it in here. So um, anyway, we need to move it out. And then I want to get like a similar situation as what I have going on right here for him so that he can come in and get into all of his stuff easily. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of the idea. I also want to get, um, like cubes, I think, like if you know what I'm talking about, it's like the cube storage type stuff, um, because I saw really cute ideas on Pinterest with that and, um, for all their toys. That way I could even use this for his clothes, which sounds kind of funny, but like if he can see everything, I think it would be a lot easier for him to get dressed because right now we're having somewhat of an issue with getting dressed in the morning. What on earth are you doing? Did you lose something under there? No. No? Yeah. Oh, the car. I see. Okay, we're going to close this up now, okay? Thank you. Oh. So, anyway, that's kind of my thought process with this. I want to keep that chair because it's such good quality. It was very expensive. It's good quality. It needs the... the cover needs to be readjusted obviously because it's looking a little haggard but it really does fit it well it's just really nice um and I still like to come up here and hang out with the kids and we'll sit in the chair and read stories and stuff like that so I don't want to get rid of that um Briar's still in her crib um but she's heading on to two now so I don't know if we're gonna try and do like a toddler bed I really don't feel like that will work out very well so I think we're going to, I think we didn't even get Henry out of his crib until he was like closer to three for sure, which judge me all you want. But when they can get up out of their bed freely, it's game over. We also have this kitchen, which Henry, I don't know. He goes back and forth between saying like he's too old for it, but then he also really enjoys it when he's in here playing. So I know Briar, as soon as like now that Henry, like once he is fully out of that stage of where he wants to play with the kitchen, Briar's going to be like all in on the kitchen. And actually she was just over there playing with it. So definitely not going to be getting rid of that. I would like to get, instead of him having like these like rolling, I don't know if you can see, it's like a, such a disaster y'all. There's like, it's on like a rolling bed frame. I want to get rid of the bed frame and the box spring. And I want to just get a bed frame with like a headboard and a footboard to put his mattress on. That way it looks a little bit more pulled together. And they honestly don't use these two side tables anymore. So I think I want to put those in our bedroom again. Um, it was for like Henry's bedroom setup. And it looks really cute for him. But now that they share a, the same room, I don't know. I'm just talking through my thoughts basically. But it just looks so bare in here, and I, I just really don't like it. Like, hers looks a little bit more put together on this wall, only because this is the way it was set up before, basically. Um, but now that he's in here, it just kind of, like, you can tell we just kind of threw everything together and said, all right, that's cool, whatever. So, I definitely want to get this bedroom looking a lot more, like, cozy and put together and proper, because it really, like, I, <laughs> I pretty much hate being up here in here, because... I don't know, it just feels very, like, thrown in and abandoned, basically, which I guess in a way it kind of has been. So that's kind of that. I'm going to try and tidy up in here, as I had said, and then maybe even, like, try to switch some of these things out. I only have so much time for, for nap time, but it wouldn't hurt to try. So anyways, that's what I'm currently up to. I think I'm going to end up ending the vlog somewhere today because... It's been going on for days, even though I took a couple day break because I, I don't know, it's been a while since I've done a weekly vlog. So anyway, I'm jabbering now. I'll check in a little bit. Okay, I'm officially downstairs again. And, um, sorry, I'm smelling my cardigan. It's actually, yeah, it's my 
In my kitchen, I have a Wallflower by Bath & Body Works plugged in and it's called Laundry Day. 12 out of 12, 100 out of 100 recommend because it smells so fresh and clean. My dryer is also going at the moment too, but I'm pretty sure that it is my wallflower. It smells so good. It's almost like, it just smells like the freshest laundry you'll ever smell in your life. Um, the kids are up from a nap. Briar's now down for her nap. It is pouring down rain. There's ducks flying through my backyard right now. Like four or five of them just passed by my window. Um, so that's why it's a little bit dark in here. I have my new, I just got this, oh well, I just got this cardigan at a garage sale. It's not, it's not really being shown very well because I'm wearing like athletic leisure clothes with it. But it's like a chenille cardigan, which is like my jam. Over this past winter, fall, I have, I think I bought like two to three chenille sweaters. They're really, really warm, but they're also just like so soft and just comfortable. But I loved this oatmeal color and I got this cardigan for a dollar at a garage sale. So can't beat it. And I knew that if I didn't pick it up when I saw it, especially for a dollar, then like coming up on fall and winter, I'd be like, should I got that whenever I saw it? Anyways, I'm on a, a whole other thing. I'm like really chatty, I guess, today. Um, I just wanted to pop back in and say it is going on two o'clock right now and it's stormy and rainy. Briar's down for a nap. I'm trying to tidy up in my house. I've been talking about a lot of like smelly stuff this vlog. Here's the thing. I talk about this all the time with my husband and I, I say it in a joking way, but it's kind of true. I basically only like clean clean because I want it to smell nice in my house, um, which is not completely true. Like I want to clean because I want it clean, but I also just like clean and use like my favorite cleaning products, which, ooh, speaking of which, let me grab it really quick. The vent is on in my bathroom. Um, I have yet again repurchased my all-time favorite countertop spray, which is the Sea Salt Neroli by Caldrea. Oh my gosh, my all-time favorite cleaning product of all time. It smells so good, like unmatched. There's nothing else on the market that smells as good as this. So there's my little two cents. <laughs> Basically only clean because I want my house to smell nice. Just not completely true, but it kind of is. Anyways, like I said, I'm being chatty. Being chatty. Okay, I apologize for how bad the lighting and everything is. I know it's all pixely. I'm actually sitting in my dark living room lit by the TV because I'm about to turn my show on and just kind of binge out for a moment. Oops. <laughs> oh boy. If it decides what it's doing. Um, I'm going to be binging out for a minute and then going to bed. I'm exhausted. Today has wore me, <laughs> wore me out. Um, and so I'm going to just go ahead and sign off. This is like the weirdest ending to a vlog I've ever done. Um, I'm just exhausted. I laid here with the, with Henry and Rob and kind of just tried to zone out a little bit. And I actually kind of like dozed off for a moment and just relaxed and it was really nice. So I'm going to sign off. I was up all night last night. I'm going to hang out and then go to bed. Um, this is probably like a 45 minute vlog at the earliest. I would think, I think it's, I think I was looking at it all collectively and it was about 41 minutes and that's not including this little snippet here. So thanks for watching. I know I have a lot of new friends on here since our Disney vlogs. So if you are new here, um, hopefully you aren't completely annoyed by me and my chattiness this vlog. Um, like I said, it's been hard getting back into the swing of a weekly vlog. So anyways, I'm really, really tired and I kind of have brain fog. So good night. Thanks for watching.